So let's talk about what the system is. It's actually very simple. The system is used by the elite universities, the wealthiest families in the world, to manage their money. And I'm going to reveal it to you right here. A group of professors at Yale studied a bunch of money managers over a 10-year period, trying to extract out where were the returns in the portfolio from. Interestingly, they found out that 90% of the returns in the portfolios of these managers studied came from what areas that they were investing in. Were they in small companies? Were they in large companies? Were they in mid-sized companies? Were they in foreign companies? Only 10% had to do with which stocks they were picking and how they were timing the market. This was an amazing discovery because what it said was, if you knew that in 2003, you wanted to be in small growth stocks, that you could have picked any 30 of them and you probably would have done as well as the guy who was really smart at picking small cap stocks. The 90% rule is a staggering rule because it means that it's not about stock picking. It's not about market timing. Those things account for very little. It's all about where you're placing your investments. If you go to the Market Writer's site, you'll see a beautiful chart which shows all the different types of markets you could invest in and which did best over the last 10 or 12 years. There's a great expression, again from Warren Buffett, where he said, Sears and fortune tellers have always been a highly paid profession. Well, if you turn on CNBC and all the financial news networks, what you hear are a lot of people proposing to be experts who are predicting what's going to happen, which markets are gonna work. Is it gonna be bonds? Is it gonna be stocks? Is it gonna be real estate? Is it going to be small companies in Europe? What's going to work? And they all have an opinion, but the fact is they don't know. So what the system is all about is owning them all. You want to have your money in everything. You want to be diversified amongst what finance people call asset classes. You want to have money in small U.S. stocks, large U.S. stocks. You want to have money in the emerging economies of India, China, Brazil, all the small countries that are coming of age. You want to have your money in international companies of developed countries, like Nestle's in Switzerland. You want to have your money in real estate. You may even want to have your money in energy or gold. But the point is, in a given year, you're never going to know what is going to appreciate and what is not going to appreciate as much. So the job becomes diversifying into all the markets and there are six core markets that we discuss on the website and having some money allocated in each one depending on who you are and what your needs are and that way you simply ride the ebb and flow of those markets instead of trying to figure out which one is best at a particular time the fact is none of these people know what kinds of stocks are going to work in what year and what isn't going to work in another year. They may understand things that are getting overvalued or that are undervalued relative to one another, but nobody can predict. So because no one can predict, we go to step two of the system. 